So you want to know how I know Donald Trump is in cognitive decline? Um, we know he's in cognitive decline because the shit that he's saying was always stupid. But there's like an extra layer of stupidity to everything that he says. Um, that leads me to believe that this man's brain is rotting out of his ears. I mean, to call this hyperbole would be hyperbole. Just look at this headline. This is from LGBTQ Nation. Donald Trump claims that schools are performing gender-affirming surgery on students. He said that schools keep kids for several days in order to make them transgender. I mean, I feel like we got all the information we need just from that headline and subheadline. But this man is deeply, deeply idiotic. And I don't know if he genuinely believes this. I think he probably knows that this is bullshit, even though he is stupid. But think about where we've gone, right? We started with, hey, because of big trans, kids are identifying as cats and they're shitting in litter boxes at school to, well, you know, sometimes the schools have to keep kids for a couple of days to finish the trans surgeries. There's so many questions that I have. So are there surgeons at the schools? Are the teachers doing the surgeries themselves? Are they qualified? Do they have the equipment to, to do these gender-affirming surgeries? Um, are the parents notified? Or do they just wonder, hey, where's my kid? It's been a couple of days. Maybe I should check. Oh, they come home and now they're transgender. There's so many questions. And I feel like even if you're a normie Republican, you've got to hear this and think, that's bullshit. Because it's just, when you go so far in your exaggeration you don't convince anyone you just look increasingly desperate so we'll read a little bit here i think there's a video of this actually yeah there's a video so let's just watch the video almost nobody in this room wants who i think 85 90 percent of the country doesn't want if they actually I absolutely it. but uh, the transgender thing is incredible think of it your kid goes to school and comes home a few days later with an operation. The school decides what's going to happen with your child. And you know, many of these childs... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it, sounds so much, it sounds so much dumber when you hear him say it. <laughs> I gotta go back. Let's go <laughs> It's so anti-trans that it's almost pro-trans because he's making transphobes look as deluded as they are. <laughs> like if, <laughs> if you're a turf, you've got to see this and think, stop, stop, you're not helping, right? <laughs> almost nobody in this room wants, who I think 85, 90% of the country doesn't want if they actually I absolutely agree with you. But uh, the transgender thing is incredible. Think of it, your kid goes to school, and comes home a few days later with an operation. The school decides what's going to happen with your child. And you know, many of these childs, 15 years later, say, what the hell happened? Who did this to me? The things that so, so, so the child doesn't, the child doesn't even know that they had the operation. <laughs> I'm crying. Yeah, I just realized, Hank, that he said the child instead of children. Wow, there's so there's so much. Oh my god, I, I should have just not read the headline and went straight to the video. It's so much better. So the ch the kid is <laughs> the kid is kept at school for a couple of days. They apparently don't know they had an operation. Maybe the t maybe the teachers told them that they're getting their tonsils removed, right? <laughs> and, then, and then like years later, the kid's like, "Wait a second, did they give me bottom surgery?" <laughs> And the parents have no idea. The parents are completely flabbergasted. <laughs> Holy fuck, this man's brain is so cooked. Holy shit. Holy shit. And I love that the person who tweeted this is like, I'll give Cash App a thousand dollars to anyone with proof. Motherfucker, I'll give a billion dollars to anyone who gives me proof of this. A billion. I don't have a billion dollars, but I know that you don't have proof, bitch. This is just wild. Holy shit. Holy shit. So this was at 
a Moms for Liberty conference, I believe. I'm literally crying. Oh, my God. Trump is a demon, but you can't say that he's unfunny. That shit is just, like, so uninten unintentionally hilarious. He also, like, when he talks about Tim Walls, he's like, he's very into the transgender thing. He's heavily into the transgender thing. Like, making it seem like Walls himself is transgender. And I think that this is something that republicans want to do like they i guess want to conspiracy monger about tim walls being trans because we reacted to a video on leftist mafia last week of megan kelly where she was comparing tim walls to dylan mulvaney before she transitioned and she just played a clip of dylan on the price is right and then they were talking about how much that's like tim walls and it made no fucking sense whatsoever but i guess like you know in the same way that they're transvestigating Michelle Obama, they're trying to, like, get a temperature check to whether or not, you know, trans stories about Tim Walls are going to land. I don't know. So let's read a little bit of the story here. In a bizarre rant during a discussion with an extreme anti-LGBTQ plus organization, Donald Trump claimed that schools are performing surgery on students in order to make them transition. This is false. Oh, bless your heart, Alex Bollinger. Is that? Yeah, yeah. Alex wrote this. Bless your heart. The fact that you have to do this is, I'm so sorry, but bless your heart. You know, somebody's got to do it. The fact that you even need to state that, it's it, it's depressing, right? Uh, the transgender thing is an incredible thing. You know, that in a vacuum, I agree. I think that if you're trans, that's really cool. You know, it, it's hard to be yourself these days. So, you know, you're a badass if you come out as trans. That's a Powerful act of self-love. So I agree with him here. If you just stop talking after this, we're cool. Trump said at a fireside chat with Tiffany Justice, one of the co-founders of the anti-LGBTQ plus Moms for Liberty group. Not, I was going to ask, not the one caught having sex with other women. Okay, okay, I'm glad that he clarified because I was going to ask. Uh, your kid goes for sc your kid goes to school and comes home a few days later with an operation. The school, <laughs> sorry, the school decides what's going to happen with your child. Wow, that's wild. That's wild. I am curious, how many Americans actually believe this? After he said that, like, are there Americans that think that? I'd have to imagine at least some do, right? I think mean, that most people hear that and they're like, oh, shut the fuck up. Uh, but some people have to, right? I mean, we had a pretty large portion of the population believe that Judge Judy was literally a Supreme Court justice. So Gamer G says 25% max. Yeah, I could see that, honestly. Yeah. Because you have to remember, transphobes, have broken brains like i actually think their brains are broken they have brain damage it's some form of mental illness so i think that they would delude themselves into believing something like this just like for purposes of cope um as you know many of these childs i can't believe you said childs many of these childs 15 years later say what the hell happened who did this to me it's incredible he said sounds like an endorsement of it Gender affirming surgery is almost never performed on minors. Genital surgery as part of transition is never performed on minors. Schools are not forcing kids to transition. Trump was simply lying. Yeah, I think that part of the problem here is that Trump forgot what the talking points were. I think that he remembered he had to say something about Democrats and schools transing kids or transing childs, I should say, uh, as he would say. Many people are saying, uh, but he forgot. So he's just like, look. They're doing operations at the schools now. If you go in the back, there's a whole fucking surgery room. <laughs> it's just, it's so crazy. Let's see. Oh, so he said some more shit that was anti-trans at this, uh, at this event. Let's hear it. <clears throat> to me, it's incredible. Just to finish that boxing, though, so the Italian girl is, uh, and the left is not a hard punch for those of you not into pugilistic affairs. Okay, so he's talking about a Monty Cleave. But a left is just sort of a guarding punch, right? So she's fighting this person that transgendered, and the guy... She's fighting this person that transgendered. He is talking about a Monty Cleave, right? He's fighting this person that transgendered. My God. I mean, it sounds like he had a stroke. Holy shit. Boom, hits her with the left. It was like she got hit by a horse. And then she, she backed up, but it was weird. She sort of like, and then he hits her with another left. And she said, that's enough, I can't take that. He ended up winning the gold medal. 
And there was another one who also transgendered, and he or she, she, ended up also winning he. the gold medal. He. Yeah. <laughs> Tiffany said it, I didn't. See, I'm a politician, I have to be politically correct. You have to be politically correct. Was this before or after you said that they're doing sex change operations on kids at schools unbeknownst to the kid and parents? You have to be politically correct. Holy shit. After he just misgenders Imani Khalif multiple times. Hey, Imani's lawyers, if you're watching this, this is a great video for discovery in your lawsuit. You might want to take this. Uh, it was tweeted out by ACYN. Uh, definitely, uh, definitely use this. Protect my kids. No, but yeah, we need to protect them from people like Donald Trump because there are stories about him when he was the uh, owner of uh, Miss Universe or Miss USA, some pageant. He would walk in on the girls in their changing rooms. Not very appropriate. There's a reason why two dozen plus women came out and accused him of, you know, sexual misconduct or inappropriate behavior. I mean, this man is a rapist, literally. He was found liable for sexual assault in a U.S. court. And he defamed his victim. Uh, so, yeah, I hope that Imani Khalif um, sues the fuck out of him, too. Think of it. So the two people, the transgender, it, it's the whole thing is crazy. Have you OK, so it was Miss Teen USA. OK, thank you, Scott, for the correction. I wasn't sure. I know it was one of those beauty pageants. Uh, yeah, yeah. The, the thought of him owning Miss Teen USA is so creepy now, uh, just knowing what we all know now. Uh, before he ran for president, I really didn't know too much about Donald Trump. I never watched The Apprentice. I just never liked him because he seemed very stupid. He was a loudmouth. I remember his beef with Rosie O'Donnell. And I remember him coming out against gay marriage in like 2012 or something, just saying, no, I don't like it. Well, I'm just like, well, fuck you. Who are you? Why, why do we care about you? Because you were born with a silver spoon in your mouth. So, yeah, look. Donald Trump's going to Trump, but sometimes you Trump a little bit too hard, you Trump a little bit too close to the sun, and you end up saying the dumbest fucking shit imaginable. I still cannot get over the fact that he said what he said. I almost want to watch it one more time because I'm still in disbelief. He actually said they're doing operations at schools on children and the children don't even know. Like, it's not even like, hey, the kid is saying, will you please do a gender change surgery on me? No, like the kids don't even know. 15 years later, they're like, whoa, what the fuck happened down there? It's so fucking wild. This man is a presidential candidate. This man is a former president. We cannot normalize this shit. Like, I will never become accustomed to this level of stupidity from somebody with so much power who wants so much power uh, again. Let's watch it one more time because I'm still like fucking taken aback by this. Almost nobody, nobody in this room wants, who I think 85, 90 percent of the country doesn't want if they actually I absolutely agree. Right. But uh, the transgender thing is incredible. Think of it, your kid goes to school and he comes home a few days later with an operation. The school decides what's going to happen with your child. And you know, many of these childs, 15 years later, say, what the hell happened? Who did this to me? The things that amazing looking super wet might i add always sloppy and shitty looking so just it seems like there's mass confusion in the comments okay yeah so there you have it they're not just transing the kids at school at the request of the kids they're doing it unbeknownst to the kids according to donald trump truth teller who's never lied about anything so yeah play stupid games win stupid prizes play stupid games win stupid prizes play stupid games win stupid prizes play stupid games F around and find out play stupid games win stupid prizes play stupid games win stupid prizes play stupid games win stupid prizes play stupid game pride trans rights are human rights it is necessary to push trans on the kids pride